All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a triple dose of stupidity. Well, it was my triple dose of stupidity. So the first one is, and I'm loving this for the narrative, but it really sucks for the British. So um, if I had my original plan way back when was to put the staging area over here, okay? Over here for, uh, hold on, I'm gonna switch hands. This is dragging me up the tree. There we go. So I wanted to originally put it here, but I started doing a bit of research and found out that this town or at that point, like had amazing infrastructure, a telegram office and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, we're gonna go there. And I just stuck with it. And then when I started going for the um, objectives here, which I thought would, would have been great um, to get this rail line over here and so on and so forth. But the, the, according to the rules, it says it's the distance between the staging area and the landing zones. The, uh, and these are here, the landing locations. OK, so it's between. So obviously, because it's the sea, that's what you're trying to look for uh, for the efficiency of your um, amphibious lift ca capacity. And it diminishes quite rapidly uh, the further you get out. So the first three hexes, there's nothing. Nothing happens to you. And then from uh, four, five, and six, it's um, a 20% reduction. Then seven, eight, and nine hexes, it's a 40% reduction. And then um, uh, 10, 11, 12, it's um, 60. And then after that, it's 80. And from this location, it's 13 hexes over. And that's why we were getting the, um, I was getting the 80%. And I was like, okay, I'm going to call this off because I'm just a dribble gets down to two two strength points a turn or something like and I haven't I don't even know all the intricacies but for the first turn it that's it then when I went over to here I was like okay we start doing this but then according to the rules I'm going with it is even if you've decided to that's it I you know I made the staging area here it says okay once you've decided okay I'm going to make a new staging area it you're not allowed to even set a new staging area for a full two months so all the paperwork and Lord knows what, it's not going to actually be official for this thing until uh, that would be 03 February. Holy moly. But uh, what I said, like I said, is it's a, you know, a state of um, that's the first stupidity. And you'll hear the other one. The other one, the other two are real world stupidities. Um, but anyways, it gets down to look how beautiful I can actually get back to the original locations. Here I was thinking I'm going to go up to here. I don't know if, if this is the good, like a better spot to get it here, but I really wanted to, to get, it's just, I wanted to avoid the mountains and all this stuff to link up with, uh, um, 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 uh, the army going towards Gaza here. So remember it's between, I'll try, sorry, I'm looking at kind of a bit both here. So it's one, remember, so here's the, the actual staging area. It's on the land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's 11 hexes. So that would only be a 60, well, only, that's only a 60% reduction. I think that's pretty, pretty, um, pretty amazing. And it just, oh, it just drives me nuts that I could have had, um, you know, as the British, they could, uh, they've just wasted two months. I guess uh, in a weirdo way, I guess you could say that the, the troops have another two months to um, train, which is good. And here are the, the two other stupid things, uh, but these are real world things. So I could have saved myself 20% off um, the Axis and Allies World War I 1914 game that I purchased uh, from Renegade Games straight from them due to the fact that when I resubscribed to War Diary Magazine, I don't read emails and so on and so forth until much later, uh, way after I purchased the bloody game. And one of the things they gave me was a 20% off coupon code to Renegade Games. I'm like, oh my God, you've got to be joking. That was, I was like, oh, that would have, that was, that would have been significant. 20%. Um, and then the third stupidity thing, which is also related to Renegade Games, Part of their email that they sent saying thanks for uh, purchasing something from us um, was they sent me, <laughs> oh my God, I think it was something like $5 off or something, uh, your next purchase from, um, so, anyways, I could have used it uh, or so, I can't remember, no, I bought, did I get it from his, I can't remember what, anyways, I could have, my th the third bit was I could have got $5 off um, the Axis and Allies money. 
that I also <laughs> look. Oh, this just gets better and better. Anyways, yeah, so that's it. I'm liking this. I'm going to keep it with the narrative. Obviously, you know, like I said, some military person said, yeah, we can do it, but you, you can't do it from there, man. We have to do it from over here. And, you know, that caused a lot of, you know, at least the politicians have put, you know, put a stop to it. But, geez, that's got all that nice territory up there. It just looks so easy. But this just looks a little bit um, more strategically important, like cutting off that rail line, as far as I'm concerned. All right. See you later.